So we're here in Isny in southern Germany and we're visiting the Blaser, Mauser and Sauer factory. Now we've been and had a look at the Sauer custom shop and all of the different styles, variants, models, calibers, stock options from Sauer. We've also been in the Blaser shop as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Yes. Looked at their new models. We have, so Blaser custom shop, all of the different upgrades that are available, but we're pretty happy with what we've got on the 404 and Wildy's Blaser Auric Professional. Now we're going to put all of that training at Andrew Venable's place, all the range time, all the moving target time into practice at the shooting cinema, which is absolutely brilliant, so I've heard, and I'm looking forward to it so much. So now we can really see if Wildy can shoot straight and if he can judge leads on moving targets. And Miss Harford as well, I presume. Of course. So, after you, sir. Thank you, sir. So we're in a Schieskino now. Directly translated, it means shooting cinema, and that's really what it is. It is a cinema, you've got your canvas there, there's a backstop behind it, and it's real films of wild boar, real films of any hunting situation, and you can really simulate anything here, and that's the good thing. It's live ammo, you are shooting at the film, and there's a computer actually calculating where the shot has gone by the light behind the canvas, pushing through it, and that's when the computer really sees the point of impact and where the wild boar was at that moment. I would always recommend for anybody who's new into driven wild boar shooting or driven game shooting in general to use one before you go because it is different than shooting something still with a rifle pretty similar to shooting a shotgun you do need lead on fast animals and depending on the distance of course also more or less lead same as with your regular shotgun shooting and that's the good thing in the shooting cinema you can really practice anything from being really close to going further back and that's really where you see your differences in lead and realistic training opportunities and that's what we're going to do right now let's get shooting cool. As Frederick prepares his rifle, Wildy is first up to test his skills in the shooting cinema. So we'll want to adjust the comb of the rifle to you because you just want to be ready whenever the comb touches your cheek, you want to have your eye where it belongs. So I'm going to loosen the screw here and adjust the cheek piece to your height. Try that for you, if that works. That good? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine? Good stuff. Three round mag on it now. One in the barrel, wild boar coming left to right, just have a go and have a play. Whenever you're ready, you're good to go. Bit more lead. Perfect. By following Frederick's advice, Steve lands his shots perfectly, most of the time. Maybe a four in there, aren't I? Oh, well. This is where the training at WMS Firearms really comes into practice, with ball running at different speeds, angles and elevations. This means instinctive adjustments to rifle speed, lead and follow through. Not easy to accomplish all at the same time, no way. but practice makes perfect. This is not only an excellent training exercise, but also a huge amount of fun. More lead, man. Being able to practice our shooting skills in a no-pressure environment really allows for us to enjoy getting back to basics. Well done. Switching to a rifle he's more familiar with, Steve gains the confidence he needs to make every shot count. After a quick bit of housekeeping, it's now my turn to step up to the plate. This is an incredible talent that few have seen from Wildy in the past, and I'm sure his wife will be putting these skills to test in the future. I have to say, I'm very impressed. As Frederick is an experienced wild boar shooter, he provides me with some useful tips, Even more lead. encouraging me to give more lead to my shots. By taking into account the speed of the boar, the angle of impact and the trajectory of the bullet, go, go I begin to land my shots. Yep, there you go. Hey, Dad. We're launching some really short ones now for a new one. Three shot mag, one foot three flat. Switching to Wildy's rifle, and with the support of my peers, I connect my shots with more consistency, and we try out a number of different scenarios. Well done. Mm. 
well, apart from that one. To finish off the day, we have a bit of friendly competition to see who can shoot a ball as it passes between two trees. Perfect. Oh, there we go. <laughs> ben! I don't need to tell you who did better. It's now a time for master wild boar shot Frederick to try his hand. It's great to see that we're not the only ones capable of the odd wayward shot. Oh, back a bit. They are. <laughs> they are. They are actually. Yeah, yeah. Like Bend. this, in front of you, and you literally yeah. got. You know, Mudge never stops walking. It's, it's constant. Yeah, I never shot one, but everybody always says they're always on always on the move. The shooting cinema is an incredible experience. It provides the opportunity of fine-tuning our shooting skills whilst having a bucket load of fun at the same time. For anyone embarking on a wild boar hunting trip, whatever your level of experience, I can't recommend highly enough that you invest some time in honing your skills in a shiskino such as this. And be sure to clear up when you've finished.